Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Collective, I've got a song in my head here. Um, I actually asked for it and it was the song, uh, this song popped into my head and I haven't heard it in a long time. I should probably try to look it up actually. Um, anyway, somebody's all up in their emotions this weekend, okay? I'm going to say that this is a weekend read and I feel like somebody is literally just all caught up in their feelings right now um, over the weekend for you. Uh, this reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? It's not going to be for all of you so just take what does resonate, toss out the rest, okay? And um, thank you collective so much for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing i love you all so so much you're just so nice to me you know crap you're just so nice to me i mean that's really it that's all that's all a person really wants is you know and you guys man you give me that support freely and i'm so so grateful for all of you thank you so much all right so the song that i'm getting is um I, I think it's called Lost Without Your Love. Um, it's really a sad song, guys. And I, I got this in a reading once before, probably a year ago or so. Um, so it's not one that pops up a lot. But um, yeah, somebody is feeling totally lost. I You know what? Let me look it up. I'll be right back. I'll look up and see who does it. Okay, sorry about that collective. It's bread. The... Um, the name of the song is Lost Without Your Love by Bread, and I'm really disappointed in myself because I should have known that one. Um, but yeah, and the last words in the song, um, if we had love before, then we can have it back once more, right? This person, look. Did I not say that they were all up in their emotions, right? Um, yeah. They are extremely emotional. Lost Without Your Love by Bread. Yeah. Yeah. This person's watching you too like a hawk, right? Figuring everything out. Doing a lot of thinking. Heartbroken. Remembering a time when they walked away from you. This person's lost, man. Look at this. Over the weekend, this person's going to be in an extreme amount of anxiety. They're going to be pacing the floors at 3 a.m., crying, um, howling at the moon, I feel. Um, looking at all of their fugly, look at how ugly this bedspread is, right? I'd be crying too, okay? Um, but this is an ugly pattern of behavior, I feel, that they, they're going to be looking at all of this, maybe things that they said, um, things that they did, things that they didn't do, all of these thoughts haunting them. I'm telling you, this weekend, somebody's really emotional this weekend. They're all up in their feels. Um, there's like... Uh, I, I've been saying there's like a light bulb that's going off in this person's head. Like they're seeing everything from a new perspective. They can see it all clearly now. They've spent a lot of time thinking. That's all this person does is think and cry and feel a, an extreme amount of pain. Okay, this is a lot of pain this person's in. Um, I feel like they're with somebody else currently, actually. I don't feel like this is your energy here as the Queen of Swords. I feel like you've pulled your energy away, okay? I don't feel you in this reading yet. But um, they're with the Queen of Swords energy that's almost like it feels like it's this person's guarding over this person. Um, and that's coming to an end. This cycle's closing for that. Uh, this is this Queen of Swords, I feel, is a karmic individual who wants some freaking answers. Because clearly, if you notice this, this person is shut down. They are, they're, they are so emotional. I feel like they're going to try to even um, isolate themselves over the weekend uh, because they're all up in their emotions. I don't know who this is for, but... 
Yeah, so if they're not on shutdown mode, trying to get away from this Queen of Swords to think, okay, and get a hold of their emotions, right? Right? They're, they've got to try to get in control of their emotions. Um, they're watching you, right? If they're not just shutting down, they're watching you. And this Queen of Swords, she wants answers. She's like, look, I know something is going on. What is going on? I know something's going on. I want the truth, right? I feel like she wants to kind of hound this person. As I say that, there's two dogs in the picture, duh. She wants to kind of hound this person because they're keeping their feelings hidden from this per from the Queen of Swords. They're hiding their feelings. They're hiding the fact that they're lost without your love. Life without you isn't worth the trouble of. I'm as helpless as a ship without a wind. Um, how does it go? Hmm. Touch without a feel, something like that. I can't believe it's real. Yeah, they can't believe it's real. They're like, wait a minute. Wait, you mean to tell me that the collective is my soulmate? They've got to think the, think about it and think about it and all of this overthinking, right? Hiding how they feel underneath this cloak. Hiding how they feel in the dark, right? They don't want to be around this Queen of Swords. Because she's, she's cold, harsh. Yeah, what did I say? It's on the bottom of the deck again. Hiding how they feel. What about you? Hiding how they feel about you. And all they can do is watch you. Everybody's kind of watching you. Look, You're in the public eye. you got eyes all on you. But why wouldn't you? Look at how gorgeous you are, right? Um, wrapped in intuition. Extremely balanced. You're balanced. I feel like this Queen of Swords is not. Um, you're confident. You're strong. You're beautiful. You're showing yourself um, all of your abilities. Everybody's watching you, and you're you're walking into a whole new cycle. This is like I feel like this is your person kind of um, hiding the fact that they've put you up on some kind of pedestal here. Yes. Yes, you are their wish fulfillment. You're their wish. This person is wishing for you because they're lost without your love. And I feel like they watch you daily, right? I'm hearing daily bread, and the artist is bread. So that, that you feed this person daily at a soul level. Uh, that's why they're intently watching you all the time, studying you, right? Maybe learning the things that you've learned. <clears throat> I feel like, yeah, you kind of feed this person like answers or something. You help them. You're kind of guiding them a little bit. Uh, they know they're in something toxic, and I feel like they're about to tell this karmic that they want out. Because if you notice... They're chained together here with the devil, but this masculine has their hand out um, like, hey, uh, we need to talk about this. I don't like this anymore. I'm getting my butt cheeks burned by the devil. I need to get out of the situation. This is a cycle that's coming to an end. It's toxic. And your person wants you. That's all they can think about. They've got clarity here, clarity here, a major thinker here. Um, yeah, but who, you know what, sorry, I'm trying to catch these cards with my other elbow here. Yeah, and I feel like you've cut this person out. You're protecting yourself because you've been working on building your finances. You're working on your home, your family, your business, um, your money. Um, you're the most financially stable queen in the deck here. You could be an earth sign. You could be a cancer, Pisces. Your person could be um, Capricorn, Pisces, Virgo. This Queen of Swords could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that they're with. Your person could also be an Aquarius here. 
But yeah, you're you're protecting yourself. You're guarding yourself right now. You're very guarded. I feel like you just want to be alone, man. You want to be alone and explore the possibilities of your new, uh, brand new cycle. Because you graduated. You're already stepping into the new. I feel like you're getting rewarded here too with stability. Very independent person here. And I feel like you're just, uh, you're just done. You're done with this. You're done. That's why this person feels so lost. You have detached. You're, this is the, like, this is the first that I've seen of your energy out here. You've detached from this person. They can feel that. They're lost. This weekend, this person is lost without you. Trying to find their way. Seeing everything clearly, but, oh, they're, they're all up in their fields this weekend. And they know that the cycle is, is coming to an end. They want it over with this, with this toxic individual. They want this toxic karmic relationship done. You know, yeah, taking action here. I feel like um, this person wants to get back together. You know, also for some of you, you could be getting some invites out, okay? If you get invited out this weekend, you know, go and have a good time. Go have a good freaking time. Don't worry about anything. You're, Ten of Pentacles here. Um, I feel like your finances are solid. You're good. I feel like um, this is worth celebrating here. Your abundance. I feel like you already have the Ten of Pentacles. Very, very stable and solid living. You're, you're about to live a dream life. Or you could have a bunch of money coming to you. You could find that out this weekend. I feel like something about celebrating something this weekend. Okay? There's going to be something to celebrate, and it's, it's like big, okay? So yeah, if you get invited out by a group of friends or something that you trust, that you have fun with, right, that have your back, do it. Do it. This is like graduation. There could be a graduation party even going on. And you may even meet a soulmate while you're out. Somebody stepping towards you here. And I'm just hearing that song again. Boy, that hurts your person. Cross watchers, I'm really sorry, but I gotta I gotta say, yeah, you're look, you may even you may meet someone and share some passion with them. Please be careful out there, guys. You know, if you're if you're going to be intimate with anyone, please use protection, okay? And you could even be very fertile at this time. So, yeah, but you could meet somebody new here. Um, this is a passionate new beginning. You could meet a soulmate connection that may even lead to it. Look, nope, it's going to, ten of pentacles, ten of cups. Um, somebody is going to meet somebody this weekend that is going to become your everything. I got to tell you, somebody is going to meet someone else this weekend, someone new, during a possible celebration here, or an invite out. If this could be a date, new, you know, somebody communicating with you about a date. I feel like this is new, new. This is a passionate new beginning, and it's going to lead to ultimate wish fulfillment the kind of life like you've never dreamed of seriously the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles a couple of the best um ultimate wish fulfillment ending cards in the deck this is like it's kind of like a disney movie here you know fireworks and castles and i mean like for real Someone here is going to meet someone new this weekend, I feel. Um, take it slow, though, I feel. Because, you know, the Ten of Pentacles is something that you build slowly. So, 
but yeah, this is this is beautiful. And you're going to level up to be a star if you aren't already. Man, the look, this poor person, I, and I hate to say it like that because they got into this themselves. They did it to themselves, but man, if you listen to the words of that song, and I know they're all up in their emotions. This was the first card out. I mean, come on. Um, they're watching you get away and being a star in the public eye, beautiful, sexy, very stable and balanced. Um, they're going to be watching you get brand new love and it's going to lead to like a wow, this is awesome kind of life. Okay. Yeah, look, bottom of the deck. Oof. With a death card. Oh, ouch. Yeah, they're they're stuck. This person, they're going to feel stuck. Or, you know, I feel like they're going to try to break away from this karmic, but that may take a while. And this is something that should have been closed out a long time ago. And that's going to make them feel really stuck and know that it's the end, especially when you meet this new person. I mean, when you meet this new person, you guys are going to hit it off right away. It's going to get passionate very quickly. Very quickly. So, you know, just remember, you know, the Ten of Pentacles is kind of a slow build, okay? Um, but this will, this is for someone out here, this connection here is, it could very well lead to ultimate everything. This is the ultimate wish fulfilled kind of life with somebody. Wow. Wow. And whoever this is, even if they do break away from this karmic situation in time, Yeah, I think you're going to choose this new love because it, it's like once you meet this person, it's all over. Seriously, that's going to be it. Once you meet them, boom, for real. Yeah, they're going to be all up in their emotions over that one, guys. Let's see what this person wants to say, okay? This person from your past. Yeah, somebody out there this weekend is going to meet the man of the, or man or woman of their dreams, okay? You're going to meet the person of your dreams. Somebody is, and this is a weekend read here, so I hope it's for you collective because honestly, um, this person is perfect for you. They're perfect for you. I mean, this new person's going to blow your mind. I'm telling you. Um, what does this person from the past want to say to the collective? What is the past person? Ooh, that one fell on the floor. Okay, that's not good. There's no passion in my life. I feel like I'm stuck in Groundhog's Day. What did I say about them being stuck? And no passion. Didn't I say this person's on shutdown? They don't want to have anything to do with the karmic. They are on shutdown mode, okay? Doing a lot of introspection. Doing a lot of heavy thinking about you and everything that they've lost. They're all up in their emotions. They don't want to be around anybody this weekend so yeah they do feel very stuck and there's no passion in their life they're lost without you you're going to be giving your passion to someone else here I feel like for real if it's not this weekend it's going to be really soon in the next week you may meet this person I've realized that I want you and I don't want to be a player anymore this person played you in a third party I feel I made a promise to someone to leave you alone. That's this karmic. But I don't know if I can do it. Yeah, they can't leave you alone. They can't stop thinking about you. That's why this karmic is upset. They're upset. They know that it's the end of a cycle. 
All right, so give me one more for this, what this person wants to say to the collective. Ooh, okay, I'm going to keep all of these out. So many things remind me of you. I have considered leaving it all behind and heading straight to you, but I don't know if I can handle the consequences. They're worried about the split with this karmic individual. Okay, they're really worried about that. Um, I know you are upset with me, and I'm upset with myself. I need space right now. What did I tell you? They are on shutdown mode. This person is having like... Um, they're overwhelmed by their emotions and the thought of losing you. Now that they know who you are, they've spent enough time thinking about it, they've seen everything from a new perspective, they're seeing it clearly here. Now that they know who you are to them and that they're in love with you, they can't handle these emotions. And now it's to the point where you have completely detached from this person. They can feel that, okay, collective? So yeah, they're very upset with themselves right now. Look at how upset they are with themselves. And they do need their space right now. They are shutting down to think and try to cope with these heavy, heavy emotions this weekend. As you meet somebody new. That's what I'm seeing. Anyway, Collective, I do hope this resonates with you, though, because honestly, this new... Oh my gosh, for whoever this is, you're going to be meeting someone. This is a weekend read. It could happen this weekend, maybe out partying or celebrating your abundance, you're leveling up. You go out, you celebrate, you meet someone new when you go um, to this event. And it's just like, wow. It's a wow factor when you meet this new person. I'm telling you, you're going to feel it. So I do hope this is for you. I hope it resonates. Claim this reading as your own, you know. Yes. And, um, yeah, just know that your person from your past here, they're falling apart this weekend, okay? Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for this one. Um, claim this as your own, right? And uh, if you like this video, click that like button for me, right, guys? Because we love the likes. And it's so nice. And it, it's, you know, yeah, it helps push the messages out further for other people, too. But, um, yeah, and if you like this vibe and it resonates with you, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, you know. Join this soul tribe, because I'm telling you, we really are the best soul tribe in the world, okay? I love my peeps. Thank you, you guys. Anyway, until next time, Collective. Man, go, you know, if you get a chance, if you feel good, if you feel good about an invitation this weekend, okay, it, remember to use your discernment and your intuition, right? It's not going to let you down. So if you feel like it's not the right thing to do, don't do it. But if you feel good and you want to get out there and celebrate, you go out there and shine. I'm telling you, somebody this weekend is going to meet the person of their freaking dreams. Anyway, I love you guys. Until next time, take care of you and peace out.